<laughs> New at 5.30, a controversial redevelopment project on Mass Avenue is headed for a big vote this week. The Indy Historic Preservation Commission will vote Wednesday, but the outcome is one big question mark. RTV6 reporter Kara Kenny joins us live from the proposed site with the very latest on this story. Kara? I'm standing in front of the Indianapolis Firefighters Museum and Union Hall, and basically what hap what, what's happening here is the union wants to expand this building about 40 feet to the east and put in a parking lot. But the concern is that if the commission says no, that will hurt another larger development just down the street. The Indianapolis Firefighters Museum is a landmark on Mass Avenue, but union officials say they've outgrown the building, which houses Survive Alive, a training facility for more than 9,000 children a year. The building also houses the Union Hall and firefighter memorabilia. We have a significant amount of material that we can't, we cannot properly display. They're proposing a $5 million expansion project that would not use taxpayer money. The project would expand the museum building to add new office and Survive Alive space, create a 32-spot parking lot, and relocate the firefighters' credit union from down the street to next to the museum. But they need the green light this Wednesday from the Historic Preservation Commission. How confident are you that you're going to get that yes vote? Uh, it, it's uncertain at this point. We, we received the endorsement from the neighborhood, uh, uh, and we've received the endorsement from the merchants, and in the past that's always worked well for us. Um, but uh, we, we've gotten some pushback from the commission uh, at our initial hearing. Union Secretary Scott Williams says some say a tall building should go on this land, not a parking lot. We've uh, strived to meet their concerns, uh, including adding a five-year sunset on the parking area. The project is separate, but tied to a $43 million project just down the street on Mass Avenue that includes relocating the fire department headquarters to the Red Cross building and creating apartments, retail, and electronic art. Downtown resident Richard Sullivan has some concerns. It seems like uh, it's a bad deal for taxpayers for an ugly building that uh, has an electric billboard on it. But many are hoping Mass Avenue improvements get the green light. Just continue to make downtown another go-to destination or continue to sustain it as a go-to destination, which is just really, really important for downtown in general. That commission meeting starts on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. in the public assembly room of the city county building. Now, if the commission says no, that could definitely hurt the larger development project down the street because that hinges on the credit union moving to this parking lot space right here. We're live on Mass Avenue. Kara Kenny, RTV6. Certainly.